Good evening. I've made some more progress on the proximity sound. It's not done. It's, uh, as with most things, turned out to be a bit more complex than I was expecting, but I'm continuing to work through it. I haven't gotten to a point where I'm going to give up yet. So just for a demo of how far I've come along here, uh, here we have a listener and a sound. And normally in a game, uh, most games, when the sound is, no matter where the sound is, it just renders the sound directionally from the listener point wherever the sound is. Uh, so what I did was I modeled nodes and each of these nodes have to be convex and each of them have openings that won't block sound. Uh, the game could set them to temporarily block sound like if you close the door. And just for some complexity I added a small hallway here and four intersecting openings. And so what I did was I had it uh, parse the map and assemble all of the possible ways that each node could reach other nodes through the openings. So here you can see how uh, the pathways from this node can make it into this node through those three possible paths. And all of them are connecting at the midpoints of each of the openings. If I move down here you can see it connects there. And it gets even more complex as uh, they get farther away from each other. The next step up was to eliminate unnecessary paths. And I've only partially done this. What I've done was I, I take the smallest possible path that I was uh, able to trace. And then I get rid of any paths that are 50% longer than that. It's not going necessarily going to be perfect. And I might think about keeping all of the paths anyway because... Imagine the situation where you're in this room and the sound is over here, but for whatever reason, these doors are closed, this door is closed, and all of these are closed. The only way for a sound to reach from here to here would be to travel up through this channel and come down through this doorway and come down to the listener. So I'm not sure how many of the paths I'm actually going to eliminate. We'll see. I mean, it's possible It's possible that the sounds that are this far away are going to be so muffled and uh, so occluded that it's not going to matter anyway. Uh, let's move this sound over here so I can give you a further demo. So now in this situation, previously all of the paths between the nodes were always connected at the midpoints on each of these nodes, but now you'll notice as long as the listener can see the sound source, there's going to be a straight line through the doorway. But if I move down here so that it's no longer, it now has to go through a blocked door, the farther it is off from the entrance, the more the sound comes more from the middle of the doorway to suggest that the sound will be reverberating off from these walls and then finally coming through in this direction. And that's kind of nice because it makes it, it doesn't, it prevents sounds from popping from one direction to another. The change is gradual instead of being sudden. And if I move away, there's other pathways that open up as well. So it's, it's possible for this sound to come through the stairway and uh, through the stairway to reach. But since it's such a hard turn, this path is going to be occluded and muffled. And I'll represent that in a future video by dimming this one and keeping this one more solid. Uh, there was another complexity, though, that I ran into. Ignoring how complex this is getting right now. Attempting to go through multiple nodes to look for a straight line path. Uh, I was doing gradual adjustments. But as I, make, as I make one change in one part of the path, and then I make another change in the later part of the path, that later change can actually affect the prior change. So I'm iterating two or three, or, well, two extra times now to try to make the line straighter, and this is the result of that. So there was a lot of parsing of nodes, a lot of calculations, intersections, looking for uh, distances outside of the doorways uh, to figure out how far into the doorway I want the sound to sound like it's coming from, or if it's, if it's, being, if it's able to see the sound directly, it'll just come straight uh, through the doorway. As uh, I move farther away, you can see that the pathways get a lot more complex. So I'm going to have to do more elimination, and particularly this area. It doesn't make any sense 
for a sound to try to come down into these nodes and then up and then through the doorway because these four openings, they basically represent empty space, so these paths really shouldn't even be here. So I'll have to put in more intelligence to get rid of these and again try to find the most reasonable paths and weight them and, and dim them and make them more solid just to represent how I plan on making uh, the sounds sound in the sound system. I'm going to save how I blend the sounds in the sound system for last. I just want to make sure that this part of the data, data, analy data analysis is good and solid before I move on to the uh, the actual mixing of the sounds. So not bad progress. Uh, might be a couple weeks, maybe maybe a week, I have no idea. Um, I've been working on this over Thanksgiving weekend because I had a four-day weekend. So we're going back to a full uh, work week next week, so I won't have so much um, brain bandwidth in my evenings to continue working on this, but we will see. Hopefully the uh, problems don't become so complex that I just have to wait until another long weekend before I work on it again. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to have another update for you soon. Have a good evening.